Earthbed. Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about the effects of force on objects. Force is defined as a push or pull on an object, and it can have a variety of effects on objects depending on the magnitude and direction of the force. So let's dive in and learn about some of the most common effects of force on objects. First up, let's talk about motion. When a force is applied to an object, it can cause the object to move in the direction of the force. This is described by Newton's first law of motion, which states that an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion with a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. This means that if a force is applied to a stationary object, it will begin to move, and if a force is applied to a moving object, it will change its speed or direction. Next, let's move on to deformation. When a force is applied to an object, it can cause the object to deform or change shape. This is described by Hooke's Law, which states that the amount of deformation is directly proportional to the force applied. This means that the greater the force applied to an object, the more it will deform. Moving on to friction, this is the force that opposes motion between two surfaces that are in contact. When a force is applied to an object that is in contact with another surface, friction can prevent the object from moving or slow down its motion. This effect is particularly important in engineering and design, as it is necessary to consider friction when designing machines and structures to ensure that they work properly. Finally, let's talk about acceleration. When a force is applied to an object, it can cause the object to accelerate, which is defined as a change in velocity over time. This is described by Newton's second law of motion, which states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force applied and inversely proportional to its mass. This means that the greater the force applied to an object, the greater its acceleration, and the more mass an object has, the less it will accelerate for a given force. These are just a few examples of the many effects of force on objects. It's important to understand these effects in order to design and engineer machines and structures that work properly, as well as to understand how everyday objects and phenomena work. So next time you apply force to an object, remember that it can have a variety of effects depending on the situation. That's it. This is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.